I'm going to show you seven quick tips to help you not to give up. And I'm going to show you how to deal and cope with this mentally when you are struggling to keep going. And some really simple exercises you can do to work out your next steps to take. Also, make sure you watch to the end of the video where you'll learn the number one method I use to make this all fast and easy. Okay, let's go. Hello and welcome, my name is Lee and if this is your first time here and you want to learn about how to transform and improve your life, start now by subscribing and clicking the bell so you don't miss anything. Okay so let's begin, grab a pen and paper so you're ready to make notes for the simple exercises. Here are 7 quick tips to start the process of taking that next step forward and to keep going every day. When you are struggling with keeping going and you want to give up, you are probably feeling stressed, anxious, burnt out, depressed or even isolated. First of all, we need to help you mentally to start getting your mind back into the right place. And then after that, you can begin to create some action steps. Tip number one, become aware of your environment and the emotions and information you are absorbing. You need to stop watching, listening and reading the news for at least 7 days. The news is full of fear, it makes you feel stressed and anxious and right now we need to reduce your stress level as much as possible so you can think with a clear mind. So really simple, do not look at any news for at least 7 days and if you can, I would also minimise your use of social media, especially if the social media you are looking at is discussing anything in the news. Tip number two. This is an exercise designed to help you clear your mind and do a reset. We are going to clear out your mental clutter. This is to help you empty your mind. When you start getting overloaded with thinking and emotions, it stops you from taking any action. It can be depressing and it can push you towards wanting to give up. This exercise will help you to empty your mind so you can begin to think clearly. So what I want you to do is grab a piece of paper and write down everything that is on your mind. Absolutely everything you are thinking about, worrying about, concerned about, anxious about, a list of jobs to do, any thoughts that come up when you are trying to go to sleep. Write down absolutely everything that is on your mind. Set a timer for 15 minutes and write down everything. Ok so once you've created your list, go through each item on your list and place a check mark next to everything that is outside of your control. As you place a check mark next to each item that is outside of your control, you need to consciously let go of the item. So just before you place the check mark, Ask yourself this question out loud, can I let this go? And as you place the check mark say, yes, I can release this. And do this through your entire list. All of the remaining items on the paper without a check mark are within your control. Transfer them to a separate piece of paper up to a maximum of 10 items. You want to write down the items that will improve your life if you put some effort into them and put those items in a priority order. These are the top 10 items that are in your control, that you can really focus on to improve your life and you can let go of everything else. From this list you can work out your next steps and you can now start to react with logic rather than emotions and you can focus on those elements that are going to improve your life. Tip number three. Now that you have decluttered your mind, now let's look at the why. Write down five reasons why you should not give up. For example, if this is a project that you are working on, such as a business or learning something new, learning new skills, and it's getting hard and you want to give up, write down the five reasons why you wanted to start the business or learn the new skills. These need to be five really powerful reasons that drive you to get out of bed each morning and to keep taking that next step forward. So take your time coming up with these reasons and make sure they have some emotional power behind them. For me, 
The main driver behind everything I am doing is to provide for my family, to keep them safe, to put food on the table and to live a certain type of lifestyle. I also want to help and serve other people, to help other people through tough times and to help them become successful. If each day I can help someone even in the smallest way, that gives me some positive feedback and I start to feel good because I have helped someone, I start having a purpose. I would also like to add that I have had several successful businesses and several failed businesses. I've experienced going from zero to making big money to ending up hundreds of thousands in debt to the point of being personally completely broken with suicidal thoughts and then bouncing back to success. And the main reason I managed to get myself out of those dark situations was the why. The why drives you forward, it gets you out of bed, it helps you to take a step back and go, okay, what can I do next? What can I do to move forward out of this situation? What are my options? We are all different and your reasons will be different to mine. So you need to find your own five reasons and they need to be powerful drivers that get you fired up so you keep pushing forward every day. Write these five reasons down and have them on display where you are constantly reminded of them. I like to have them in my wallet and on the wall. Read them first thing in the morning when you wake up and before you go to bed to keep reminding you of the reason why you have to keep moving forward. Now if you are getting value from this video, please hit that like button, thank you, it's really appreciated. And the question for you is, what are you currently doing to keep taking one step forward each day when you want to give up? Let me know in the comments below, it's really interesting to hear what other people do and we can all share our own experiences and help each other. Tip number four, don't be afraid to quit. Okay, so I've just said never give up, keep pushing forward and now I'm saying don't be afraid to quit. So this is an important message. First off, if you are having suicidal thoughts, don't quit, keep going, keep pushing forward one day at a time. So let's just get that out of the way to begin with. Next, and this is what I am referring to. If you are working on a project or a business and you want to quit, give yourself permission to quit. Walk away from it for two to three days. Take a rest from it. Don't do anything with it. Do something else, completely walk away. And then after two to three days, look back at the project and you may find that after having a break and a rest from it, that you do actually want to continue and you are fresh and ready to start again, ready to try another approach. Or you may realize that actually quitting is the best option and then you can move forward onto something else. A really quick example is, one of my first failed businesses was a letting agency franchise. I had put around £50,000 of my own savings into the business and it was losing around £4,000 a month. I had tried many options to make it work, but in that particular market and that particular area, I could not get it to work. I had not done my own due diligence and research correctly into the business and it could not succeed. And then a series of events happened which made me realize I needed to close the business down. As soon as I did, the following morning, I had a massive sense of relief. I actually woke up with a smile on my face. All the stress had gone and now I could focus on the next project, which was an online business where I had massive success in a short period of time. So don't be afraid to quit take a break, reassess, and then you can work out your next step forward. Tip number five, what is the lesson I can learn from this situation? Whenever I'm in a bad place where something has gone wrong or things are not working as I had hoped, I ask myself the question, what can I learn from this situation? I find this helps you to look at the situation in a positive way and it helps you to find solutions. What are my options? What choices do I have? 
I use this as motivation to keep pushing forward each day because I never want to be in this situation again. What can I learn from this? What can I do in the future so I don't have to experience this again? I also believe we are spiritual beings having a human experience. And all of these dark times that we go through are for us to learn and grow from. That's why you simply can't quit. You need to learn from it and grow into the next version of yourself. Tip number six, remember it is hard and it is okay. Remember, anything that you are trying to achieve comes with ups and downs. It is hard. Just accept this is a temporary hard part. You cannot have constant ups as there are things that you always need to learn and you don't know what new information you need to learn until a new challenge presents itself. Remember, don't give up at the first hurdle but keep experimenting and trying new methods. If it doesn't succeed, keep adapting until you find the method that does succeed. And now we're at the final tip, tip number seven. This is the most powerful technique here and it's very simple, but it really helped me personally accelerate my online business forward so fast that it only took one year to get to the profit level I wanted, whereas other people in the same niche, it had taken them five years. And that's using mastermind groups. Surround yourself with people who are on the same path as you, but preferably several years ahead of you. For instance, let's say you started a YouTube channel, but it's not progressing as well as you had hoped. If you can make friends with other YouTubers who are ahead of you, you can learn from them and share information. Create your own mastermind group where you have a call once a week to discuss things that are happening. The important part to remember is you also have to contribute to the group in whatever way you can. So find a way to help the people that are several years ahead of you and then they are also willing to help you. Mastermind groups are about looking after each other. They are ideal for sharing any new information or tactics that you have learned. And then in return, you can ask for advice with any problems you may be having. Mastermind groups give support when you need it you can talk to experienced people and receive advice. And because they are several years ahead, more than likely they will already have experienced the situation you are in and already know the answer and have a quick solution for you. So in conclusion, remember the why and aim to keep yourself calm throughout your day and take emotion out of any problems you may be facing. Clear your mind and then look for solutions and choices that you have available. And then you can take that next step forward. Keep doing this every day, taking that next step forward. And before you know it, you will have progressed and be experiencing something more positive. If you want to learn more about how to transform your life and how to experiment every day, check out this video here. And if you haven't yet, remember to subscribe. Okay. Thanks for watching and I'll see you again soon.